Today we're checking out the new Python RxF from Fury Tech. This is a versatile piece of electronics that's going to combine the great features of the Python ESC with a built-in receiver. It's going to be great for those of you putting together a build that need all of your electronics in a tight space, but you want high performance. So this is going to give you all of the features and benefits from the Python Pro and a built-in receiver all wrapped up in a nice waterproof case. So we're gonna open this thing up. I'm gonna do some size comparisons against the Python Pro, go over the key features and the versatility of this thing, and then we're gonna put it in a build and we're gonna run it to see how it performs. So let's open it up and check it out. All right, here is the Python RxF. So you see this comes with a variety of different connectors and I'll explain why. First, let's take a look at the Python itself. So just like its cousin, the Python Pro, this comes in this really nice, clean billet aluminum case with the unfinished edges, red anodizing on the top. This is waterproof and dustproof. You can see it's all sealed up in here. So this really is a Python Pro with some enhancements on it. This has the same 5 amp BEC, capable of up to 8.4 volts. These are powerful, powerful ESCs, capable of running 10th scale servos without hardly any brownouts. In addition to the power output, this has that buttery smooth operation that we've come to know and love from Fury Tech. It also has the Bluetooth integration in here that will hook up seamlessly via Bluetooth to the Fury Car app. That's going to open up a whole world of tuning and telemetry so you can really fine tune your build. Now if we check out what this comes with, we have a number of different connectors and that's because Fury Tech has given us a lot of customization options here for your battery, which battery that you want to run depending on which model truck you're putting this in. We have an external power source that you can plug in or leave unplugged. And we have our connections for servos and auxiliary plugs, whatever you want to use them for. Starting with the power plug. So this is pretty cool. This is something that you wouldn't normally get excited about. But what's neat about this is that historically these setups have had either a switch or a push button on off switch on them, which is great, which is functional. But if this is tucked way up somewhere in your build and you can't reach it, it's kind of a pain in the butt to, you, know, you have to take the roof off or a side panel or contort your fingers in a way to get to that switch. But now you can plug this in, mount this somewhere you know in the back of your rig, and then you can snake this power switch wherever you need it to be as far as convenience go. And then you've got your power switch whenever you need it. Or if you don't care about that, you can just unplug it and then you've got this nice clean piece of hardware without the power wire hanging off of it. So very cool to have that versatility there. You've also got a variety of different battery plugs here. So it's got the TRX4M, the Traxxas style connector. You've got a JST plug and you've got the PH2.0 for the SCX24 batteries. One thing that I really was hoping to see with Fury Tech's collaboration with Hobby Plus was a battery connector that works with the FMS style batteries, but maybe we'll get that in the future. This has a four channel receiver built into it. Fury Tech gives you three of the adapter plugs here for whatever you want to use it for. As far as compatibility goes, now this is compatible with any FMS transmitter. You know, these compact ones that come with the FCX24, the same model that comes with the Hobby Plus units or the FX118. Anything that uses these kind of small fly sky style remotes will sync up to this with no issues. Fury Tech does offer this in a combo as well that comes with the Cosmic radio, which looks just like this. This is the one that comes with the Fury Wagon. But you can buy this as a kit with the transmitter as well. Just happen to have a bunch of these FMS ones laying around because every time Axel fries an ESC from too much mud or abuse, I end up with extra radios. So we're going to try it with the FMS one. Let's do some size comparisons here. So on my Snaggletooth SCX24 build, I have the Python Pro. And if you can see, they are very similar as far as overall footprint goes. You can see that the Python Pro has kind of this elevated rectangular portion on the top. The new Python RxF basically has the same footprint, but instead of that one elevated piece on the top, it's all flat and uniform across. So you get a nice, clean, solid rectangle. Otherwise, they are very similar in size and overall dimensions. I dare say the RxF might even be shorter. I'd have to look at the dimensions, but anecdotally, it actually looks like it may be overall smaller. But nonetheless, very small footprint of this thing. And the benefits, see, this is running Python Pro 
and I have to have an external receiver. Now I could get rid of that receiver and just have the one combo here. So I'm going to put this in my C10 sleeper build. This is running the Fury Tech Komodo motor here. And I think what I'm going to do is put the RXF in the back. I'll put it on the tray right here. I could get rid of this battery strap, set it on the tray just like that. And then I've already got Velcro right here. So I'll be able to set my little 3S pack right on the slider. And that will be my setup right there. So I'm just going to get some double-sided tape. We'll stick this down and hook everything up and see how it works. All right, my friends, here's my setup here. Stuck the Python Pro on the back, and then I've got my battery on the side here. Alternatively, I, which I might do this, I might put the Python on the driver's side slider and the battery on the right, just to even this thing out. The battery looks pretty big, kind of hanging there, but we'll see how it performs. I did go in, I turned on the Fury Car app, got this thing all up and running, some minor tuning with the drag brake and the punch and all that good stuff. Made sure the firmware was up to date, turned up the voltage on this servo, so we should be ready to rock and roll. I think what I do need to do though is bind my remote. So I'm gonna do that now, see if I can remember how to do this. So with the FMS remote, I'm just gonna hold the bind button. Turn it on. Now if I plug this in, There we go. Then just switch it off, switch it back on. Just like that, so easy. I love it. All right, got my steering and my throttle directions all situated. Feels pretty good, super, super quiet. Just like the Python. It does have that hitch there and real slow speed. See that kind of cogging action there? that's something I can smooth out with the app. I didn't mess with the throttle curve or anything like that. But very easy installation. No problem binding it to the transmitter. Very, very cool. So let's do a better example of this integration rather than trying to shoehorn this into an Axial product. So here is the FuryTech FX118. And if we take a look at this setup, it's got a pretty good layout as it is right now. But as you can see, we've got the receiver right here and then we've got the lizard pro kind of stuck together on the back here what we can do is take the python and we can consolidate these into one unit right there or if we want to relocate maybe maybe to the front i don't know if we, we can play around with it but let's see so why don't we make this swap and see how the python works on the fury wagon all right here we are so again very simple to bind this right up to the fury tech radio Got this running my little 3S battery. Very smooth. You might be wondering why would you want to upgrade the Fury Tech system already since it has the Lizard, which is a great ESC for sure. But the Python Pro is like the Lizard's big brother. You know, you're going to get more power output, smoother power delivery. If you wanted to upgrade this and take it to the next level down the road, the Python Pro is going to be your best bet. So aside from saving you space, this is going to open up doors for you down the road if you did want to take this thing to the next level. Right, here we are on the course with the C10. Cold, cold, cold out here in Massachusetts, so I'm going to do the course for now. If it warms up this weekend, I'll get out on the rocks, but let's try this thing out inside anyway. So very smooth, especially considering it's on 3S right now. Just whisper quiet. The C10 is just becoming more and more lethal as I put these goodies in here, tucked underneath this unassuming body and setup. I gotta clean that wire up there. One thing I did notice with having the Python in the rear there where the battery was, since it's taller than the battery, my body's having trouble sticking, so I'm gonna have to do some tweaking there, but overall I'm pretty happy with the setup. And if I do that kind of side mounted combo, that will eliminate that problem.
Haven't run the C10 in a while. Having a lot of fun with this truck. Just forget sometimes how capable this thing is. <laughs> it's my body falling off. I can feel on 3S this thing just wants to rip. But still able to get nice smooth power delivery out of it. Feels really weird to be driving this with an FMS radio. Whoa! <laughs> Let's try Hell's Gate one more time. I got too heavy handed with the throttle there. Getting slippery over there. There we go. All right, I like it. Yet another great piece of hardware from Fury Tech. This has been an amazing year for electronics and upgrades for our minis. This is just yet another great example. Definitely worth considering if you're planning a high performance build, if you wanna go brushless, or if you just want a top tier ESC in your mini and you wanna save room, certainly worth considering. Very nice. Fury Tech continues to streamline and improve their electronics and gives us some great options for our mini crawlers. The Python Pro RXF is just another example of that. With its multitude of connectivity as far as batteries and radios go, this is going to be a great option for you if you're looking to do a high performance build, brushless or brushed, and you want to save space but you don't want to compromise performance. Giving you the option to sync up to a number of transmitters in this family is great because you can pick up one of these radios at very low cost from FMS or Hobby Plus. That combined with the reasonable price at $139.99 for the Python Pro RXF makes this thing competitively priced when you think about the features that you're getting out of it and the combination that it offers. While the added integration of this system is really cool, I wish we had a broader array of radios that we could sync to. It's interesting that I don't believe this works with the FuryTech Avatar, their own in-house radio. But if you have an FMS or a Hobby Plus product, it's going to be a no-brainer. This is going to integrate right into that system. But if you don't, you're going to have to source one of these FlySky remotes. So while convenient, this is going to limit you on the radios that you can use and thereby the functionality of your radio. But hopefully they'll expand that capability in the future and we'll get some connectivity to a broader range of radios. I'll put the link in the description for where you can pick up one of these Python RXFs yourself. And let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of the Python Pro RXF? And as always, I appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so. And I'll see you in the next video.